Good morning, Racine Lutheran High School, and welcome to your daily broadcast of the 251. I'm your host this morning, Kayla Miller. Today is Friday, October 28th. Coming up, Senorita Pedrosa with our daily devotion, but first, lunch today will be Domino's Pizza. For sports today, we have a varsity football game against Brookfield Academy at Pritchard Park at 7 o'clock. In other news, if you are considering playing a winter sport, boys or girls basketball or wrestling, make sure you get your eligibility information to Mr. Schaefer as soon as possible. We need a physical on file, athletic agreement signed, and the concussion slash cardiac sudden arrest waiver signed along with your activity fee. If you played a fall sport, then you only need to turn in your activity fee for the winter sport that you will be playing. If you are a transfer st student, you will also need an EVTS filled out. Please see Mr. Schaefer about this. Do not wait until the season begins. Student Council is hosting a blood drive on November 8th. All students aged 16 or older are eligible to donate. If you are 16, please see Mrs. Mank for a permission slip. QR codes with the links to sign up website are posted throughout the school. Please consider donating your blood to save a life. Please pick up the paperwork at the athletic director's office if you intend on trying out for the boys basketball team. Friday will be the final day for eating lunch outside, or today. Sign up now to meet with admissions counselors from MSOE in Concordia, Nebraska, who will be here today. Also plan to meet with Cardinal Stritch and Carroll University, who will be here on Monday. Sign up in the guidance office. And student ambassadors, especially those who were not at the meeting yesterday, need to read your emails. Thank you. And for our birthdays, none today, but over the weekend, happy birthday to Julie and Kim. And for our joke of the day, why did the bullet lose his job? He was fired. And now let's focus our hearts and minds on today's devotion brought to you by Senorita Pedrosa. Good morning. Today's devotion is titled, So Far From Worthless. And our Bible passage comes from Psalm 139, 13. You created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. In life, you'll face all kinds of situations where the world will try to tell you who you are. People may say that you're not very smart. You're awkward. You have issues. Your dreams will never come true. You're extra. Or you're worth nothing because of where you come from, who your parents are, the house you live in, the color of your skin, or where you buy your clothes. I beg you, don't let the world tell you who you are. Only God can truly define you. Dig into his word and find out who you truly are. You are a child of the king of the universe. You don't have to be overwhelmed by anything or intimidated by anyone. You're God's son or daughter, which means you can do whatever he calls you to do. All you have to do is try, and he will do the rest. I know that a lot of young people do feel worthless, though, so I want to address it a bit more. What I believe tends to happen is that you replay the hard conversations you've had, the most painful moments you've been through, or the ones that cause shame to rise up in you. Then you let those fruitful, fruitfulless thoughts lead you to believe that you are worthless. Listen to this and take it personally. You are far from worthless. It's time to reject the lies of the enemy and embrace the truth of the king of the universe who created you. That makes you, yes you, a child of the king. Your, that's your worth. That's what you have always been. Don't let the world or anyone in it tell you otherwise. Believe, believe you are who God says you are, and then go out and live like you are who God says you are. Let us pray. Lord, show us through your word who we truly are, and help us to teach others who they are in you too. Amen. And that was today's 251. Make it a great day.